Welcome back to my second video on the August drop pod update. My last one was about the visors. Now this one will be about the Mark 7 helmet attachments. We're going to start off with the default helmet and go through what attachments are now on this. So as always, we got the cat ears. This is already on every single one, so nothing too surprising there. Um, okay, so the, this helmet, I don't believe has anything new. This might be new. Uh, same as these. These two might be new to the helmet. Um, I'm actually uncertain. But there's default helmet. Uh, next we have aviator. Uh, which this was on it. I know that. Cat ears obviously on it. This. Yeah, these two I think were standard to all the helmets. And that uh, was as well. Okay, so nothing new there. Let's check out brawler. Obviously the cat ears. This is new to this helmet, I believe. Or maybe not. This come with this helmet. Yeah, actually this came with this helmet. Never mind. I lied there. But that will probably be on more helmets now. Oh, this is new to this helmet. I don't have this, unfortunately. And so is it this. Um, I don't believe I this came out with the Enigma helmet, I think is is that what it's called? I'm not too sure. We'll come across it in a second here. Um, and then this came out with the soldier helmet maybe i don't know uh I, I i believe that's when those came out uh next we got line breaker this came with this helmet the standard two okay nothing new with this helmet volant nothing new with that one okay so these are the same for this helmet oh sea locks let's see what's new on here this is same uh interesting okay so this is new to this helmet um that looks bizarre to say the least if you think that looks good and you got that yo be my guest i would not put that on that is interesting but hey it gives you more customization if you like it you like it Let's see what we got here i know there is new ones for this okay so same thing with this one interesting looking this looks good. Makes it really look like EOD, honestly, with how it cuts the visor there. Only the color change, though. This would look actually so, so cool if this was gold or red that suited with my um, color. That would look so sick. Um, but unfortunately, I don't even own that attachment. Um, next, Stormfall, which is obviously Gunganeer. Um, don't expect Gunganeer to be on any other helmet, though. I don't think, at least. Um, that looks interesting. And so does that. Uh, next up, we got Recon. Or well, actually, Trailblazer. My fault. See, this is what should have been on EO the EOD helmet. Was this. Uh, that would look really cool. And hopefully it's on more. This should definitely be on more helmets, though. I, I don't know if it is or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Uh, that came with the helmet. Uh, and this is new to it. Not too bad. So it seems like it's really only these attachments. Okay, this is sick. This came at War Master. I really am a fan of that. That looks cool. Um, and this and that. Okay. And these two, okay, these two actually look good on this helmet. Um, this one a little less than this one. Uh, but they look good. Um, I like that a lot though. Especially with the, the breathing uh, effect I got. That looks incredible with that um big fan of how that looks uh mark 5 zeta a lot of people have this helmet so uh hopefully the attachments nope no new attachments for it that's okay uh mark okay so this one should probably have a lot saying that this is like the helmet oh no didn't get anything new interesting interesting okay enigma yeah this is the one i was talking about that came with this um and this this okay this gets included with that okay um i don't have this helmet but this got that attachment okay let's check out soldier i see yeah i this came with soldier i'm pretty certain that's what i thought so that also gets that attachment uh and an anubis let's see what anubis gets uh, Nubis does not get a new attachment. And then finally, we can check out what Warmaster has. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't get... Oh no, it definitely has this. Yeah. 
doesn't look that good. Um, so really the only thing new to me um, that I can make use of is this and that. Um, which I think looks really sick. I'm actually a really big fan of this. Um, nice little addition, uh, especially if you have all the attachments and most of the helmets um, and you want to mix things up a bit. There was a lot less than I expected, so a tad bit underwhelming, and I apologize for that. Um, but again, small step in the right direction. Same thing with the visors. Everything that they're doing at the moment, unfortunately, are small steps, but they're in the right direction, um, and that's certainly a positive thing. Uh, I definitely do believe that once Forge comes out, things will be ramped up a bit, um, and hopefully sooner or later we'll have the full-blown cross-core crazy customization that we've all been looking for and we can all make the spartans that we want to make just please no one makes some hideous things that are going to make people complain but actually it doesn't matter do what you want i think that's the great thing about halo you're able to make your person look your, your spartan look how you want it to look and um for us getting that ability i think is a great thing um so yeah as always I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, sub. It means a lot. I'm very close to 100 subscribers. If I'm not already at it while recording this, I'm not too sure. Um, but I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.